Good morning, class. This is the fourth grade test on adding and subtracting of decimals and also some uh, fractions to decimals and decimals to fractions. All right, hope you're having a good day. And here we go with number one. The model is shaded to represent the decimal number less than one. Which value is represented by the shaded part of the model? So the model is shaded to represent the decimal number less than one. Which value is represented by the shaded part of the model? Okay, there are your answers. Two and seven tenths, 27, 27 hundredths or two and seven hundredths. Okay, guys, don't forget to show your work. Uh, <clears throat> any work that you need to, and then move on to the next question. You can always pause the video if you need to pause it. All right, question number two. Colleen buys a roll of craft paper for $7.99 and some glue for $3.69. She saves $0.75 cents by using a coupon. What is the total cost after she applies the coupon? So, Colin buy, uh, Colleen buys a roll of craft paper for $7.99 and some glue for $3.69. She saves $0.75 cents by using a coupon. What is the total cost after she applies the coupon? Uh, choose your best answer. Show all your work. All right, we'll go on to number three. It says, there are two hiking trails in the park. Trail Y is 2.7 miles long. Trail Z is 5.84 miles long. What is the total length of these two hiking trails? Okay, and you don't have to bubble in anything on there, but just write your answer down here and don't forget to circle it. So there are two, tra uh, two hiking trails in a park. Trail Y is 2.7 miles long. Trail Z is 5.84 miles long. What is the total length of these two hiking trails? So show your work and then circle it down here. Question number four. Lindsay purchased one pet carrier that cost $21.89 and two bags of cat food that cost $16.49 each. What was the total cost of these items? So Lindsay purchased one pet carrier that cost $21.89 and two bags of cat food that cost $16.49 each. What was the total cost of these items? Okay, show your work, circle the correct answer. On five, six, and seven. On five, six, and seven, what you're doing is you're changing a decimal and you're gonna write the fraction version of that. So, Look at that number. You're going to write the fraction version of that in the box. And then 8, 9, and 10, you're going to, you're looking at the fraction version or the mixed number version or the fraction. And then you're going to write the decimal in the box. So then you're going to write the decimal. Okay. So if it's listed as a decimal, you're gonna write the fraction. If it's listed as a fraction, then you're gonna write the decimal, okay? If you have any questions, just ask Mr. Poole. All right, that brings us all the way up to the last question, number 11. It says, the models represent the price 
for a pound of grapes at four different stores. Each model is shaded to represent a price that is greater than one dollar. So each one is greater than one dollar. Which stores have a price greater than 160 but less than 190? So which ones are greater than 160 but less than 190? Okay, so look at each of those stores, which one is greater, which ones are greater than 160, but less than 190. All right, uh, shade in the appropriate answer, okay? All right, guys, hope you do your best. Make sure to show all your work. Double check your answers. Make sure you answer all the questions. All right, good luck. Have a good day. Bye.